Hey, 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 welcome back to another snowy episode of Prairie Sunset Ranch. My name is Aaron, and thank you for tuning in, my friends. Today's video is gonna be a quick one. It's gonna be a product review. With the winter and snow here on the prairies comes severe, harsh, cold weather. And with harsh, cold weather comes frozen water tanks, waterers, livestock waters, water bowls, whatever you wanna call it. Anyone that's watched these videos for the last couple of years will remember a time or two Aaron cursing and swearing over frozen water bowls. Well, that hopefully is a thing of the past. Since midway last winter, if you remember last winter was consistently uh, minus 40, we hit minus 52 a few days. Uh, the whole winter was really cold. This winter, we just got over a, a few weeks of minus 40, minus 45 weather with wind chill. So that's hard on any heater trying to keep up to a large water bowl. Now the big water bowl we have out back is maybe 250 gallons. I don't know, maybe 500 gallons. That's a guess. I honestly don't know. It's big though. It's an old retired uh, wheel loader tire that we put on the concrete and uh, souped her up with the float shut off valve and it waters our big uh, main cattle herd alongside our calf feed lot, the horses and everything in between. Now we were consistently having problems with frozen water bowls, uh, ice forming on top, holding the float so it wouldn't drop down and refill. And it was just an endless battle. So I decided to quit being a cheap bugger and rather than going through two or three cheap water uh, heaters for our big water bowl there, I decided to buy a really good one there in the middle of last year it was during one of our minus 50 uh, spells. Now I typically don't like doing product reviews unless I really trust or believe something. Now this thing has saved me a lot of headaches. It saved me a lot of <laughs> sleepless nights over this winter for sure already. And uh, it's just a hell of a good product. So I wanna share it with you guys. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna leave a clickable link in the description uh, box below uh, where you can go to the Prairie Sunset Ranch Amazon store Click and uh, get yourself one of these sweet little gigs. Yes, Prairie Sunset Ranch now has a storefront on Amazon. Go check it out. I'm gonna be adding more contents to it daily, so get on her. Well, it's winter out here on the prairies and it was bloody cold there last week. We uh, we hit minus, uh, must have been about minus 45, minus 46 with the wind chill. I think it was straight up on the mercury, minus 35. It was cold out, but as I trip, <laughs> But I did not have frozen waters. My water bowls were golden. I think largely in part due to this. Now last year, the beginning of last year, we had a horrid winter last year. It was cold. It hit even minus 50 with the wind chill last year. And I was having trouble with my water bowls. Uh, not so much the rich one, but this big water, this big water bowl. Now this is the main water. This is a big water bowl on the farm. Our calves use it and our cows, and it is used often. I gotta clean this water bowl out, but it's big. It easily waters 100 uh, breeding head of cattle, 100 calves. It keeps up, no problem. It's a big girl. Now, I was buying those cheap uh, plastic covered um, stock tank de-icers, etc. And I found this one. This one is, uh, this is a lot heavier made. Number one, it's made in the US. It's from uh, Farm Innovators Incorporated, but it is a heavy duty unit. It's thermostatically controlled, solid cast aluminum. It's not a chintzy made thing. It's made in USA, it's made solid. And now down there you can see I have like a little uh, plastic lining. I put the plastic lining on top of that cord, even though it does have the uh, wound wire, I find that these guys, they like chewing on the wire. So I put that on there with that, along with that wire that comes from factory, it's fantastic. Well, I found myself buying these cheap, chintzy, Chinese made uh, water heat stock tank, the Icers water heaters. And I decided to spend a few more bucks and buy this bad boy. And I'm telling you, it was the best choice I ever made. This past couple weeks of cold spell, we had minus 40 some. I'd come out, check the water. Water bowl steaming, nice and warm. Unbelievable device. It does a hell of a job, even on this big stock tank. Now, I wouldn't go and put it in a tiny <laughs> little bucket. If you're just gonna need a bucket uh, that you need uh, to stay defrost, just go buy one of those little thermal buckets that you plug in. That'll do a fine job for that. But if you have like uh, a big um, kidney basin that you use, like a big, big kidney shaped one that you use for the horses, um, whatever it may be, this might be for you. 
Plus there's a three year warranty. So I'm not too worried. I know I paid a little bit more for it. I bought an extra one, uh, but we put this in nah, maybe midway last year, around the midway, because our other one burnt out. I was going through two cheap ones uh, a year before and I wouldn't even sleep at night because I don't know if it's gonna fail. But um, this one I put in mid last year. I brought it in uh, once the weather warmed up. I cleaned it off, I stored it in the house and she's back out here and she's working flawless again. So tried, tested and true. Uh, no, I'm not affiliated with this company but it is a hell of a good product. I would definitely suggest you try it out. Like I said, I'll leave that uh, clickable link in the box below and uh, you can check it out yourself, do your research but hey, I think it's pretty good. Hey, old Betsy, you like it too, eh? <laughs> All right, let's take a little peek at this. Look at that. Nice and heavy, made in America, I'm telling you. That's what it should look like. Nice wire protecting the cable. But like I said, if you really want to go overkill, put a plastic line I just took from the old one and I put it just uh, near the top so if they do chew they're never gonna get through to the uh, the plug the wire here they'll just get the the plastic chewed up a little bit and then they stop usually once they hit the wire anyways so but this is what you're gonna get nice heavy unit gets damn hot so like I said I wouldn't suggest it for a small small uh, water uh, trough or tank these do get warm so if you let it get <laughs> if you let it get really uh, empty and it's cold outside these will transfer heat down so keep that in mind it'll burn out your heater too just a couple tips to keep your uh, stock tank de-icer your heater uh, in good shape and in good service order make sure you take it out don't leave it out in there over the summer it will corrode it will stop working eventually it's just a matter of time take it out clean it up good store it in a dry place number two make sure you have a good power source that's that's so important a nice stable power source good harsh environment uh you know uh reciprocal to plug into make sure it's properly or adequ adequately powered number three try to get that cord out of chewing distance of your cattle calves livestock whatever it may be animals love to chew cords especially those even with the wire around it they see it they want to chew it Number four, if you are in a cold environment, make sure you have that heater close to the float, in proximity to the float. However, not to interfere with the float dropping so the cable doesn't catch it. Just make sure it's within proximity so it can properly heat those areas where the water is controlled. Follow those tips, you should be golden, trust me. All right, folks, it's time for me to roll. You take her easy. We'll catch you next weekend with an all new Prairie Sunset Rush Farm Vlog. Be there. Or be square, my friends. Have yourself a fantastic night, great week, and we'll catch you Saturday morning. Bye for now.